Calmont rock climbers reach out to beginners in hopes of shedding light on their unconventional sport and growing their community. Firstly, Adam Smith, a sophomore, distinguishes the different types of rock climbing. Basically, there is bouldering, top rope, and lead rope. Top rope and lead rope are pretty similar. The main difference is that lead rope, the rope is not connected at the top. You have to connect the rope as you go up. So it tends to be a bit more difficult because you have something extra to do. You have to take one hand away. And um, you can also, there's also a lot more creativity in a lead rope, right? Because uh, you can have like bigger overhangs and still have them be, I guess, safe to climb. Uh, bouldering is shorter climbs, climbs where you don't need a rope. And if you fall on like a padded surface, you'll be fine. I think most people treat it more like you know, just a visit to the gym, right? You go there, you do it for fun or to get stronger or whatever. I don't think most people do it in um, like team formats. I know some people who do, but that's not very common. And I don't think most people go to, you know, like um, contests or whatever. However, Caitlin Stair, a freshman at Carmont, emphasizes the importance of teammates in outdoor climbing in particular. You really have to rely on someone else when you're climbing to like be there for you because they if you're outdoor climbing, they basically have your life in their hands. <laughs> so. Stair then elaborates on the challenges beginners may face upon joining the sport. It's definitely, I think as a beginner, it's actually more physically challenging than once you really get into it. Because um, you don't, like without technique, you're kind of only using upper body strength and <laughs> pulling yourself up. So as a beginner, it's definitely a little bit physically challenging. Smith then mentions that despite any difficulties beginners may face, the sport is more than enough accommodating. I think there's a lot of easy climbs and a lot of easy routes, and I think in particular uh, a lot of people are pretty friendly to beginners. Griffin Closey, a junior, then describes how the rock climbing club at Kalmont in particular seeks to enrich the rock climbing community. It's just trying to like, introduce more people to like the sport or just people that are in the community, but just introduce them to each other, make, have people make new friends, stuff like that. Just try and make an inclusive like, community come up for rock climbers, or just non-rock climbers if they like, have a small bit of interest in it. So, Smith then addresses the accessibility of climbing to newcomers. Uh, I think in this area there's a lot of gyms around. Um, the one in Belmont is probably one of the smallest around, and I think it still has enough variety and they change their routes enough. Uh, there's also a lot of outdoor bouldering places around. Um, getting equipment is also pretty easy. There's a lot of sports stores and you can just buy it from the gym. Despite all its difficulties, Stair and Closey still recommend the sport to beginners, recalling what drew them to climbing. And I personally really like the technique aspect of it, kind of, it's like solving a puzzle. You're like trying to figure out how to, you know, move up and um, I'm really bad at planning out my climbs, so it's really, I just go on and kind of <laughs> figure it out as I go. Um, but I think for me, it's a really good stress reliever. I know whenever I'm upset, my mom is like, she asks me to go climbing and it really does help, even though sometimes I'm not in the mood, but it is, it's a nice way to relieve stress and just kind of like, you're up on a wall, just like with yourself. <laughs> even just trying it once can be a great experience for, for many people. Uh, it can get you out of your comfort zone, make you try some other sports that you never thought you would enjoy. Because personally, I never thought I would like rock climbing. I always thought it was kind of, I like, every time I watched like a documentary of someone rock climbing, I would go, wow, th those guys are stupid for climbing that high. But uh, I guess I'm one of those idiots too now. Reporting for Scott Scoop, I'm Nathan Turnbow.